So November 2nd, we're having our very inspiring Italian Gems program. The first inspiration came really from my total love to Italy, of Italy. If you would ask me what's my favorite city in the world, I would say Rome, <laughs> believe it or not. It's not a German city, it's not an American city, I love Rome. And um, the most, like the, the region that I love most is actually Northern Italy. I was there like quite a while ago with my now wife and uh, we were camping Lake Como and it was just so extremely beautiful. Um, so there is this deep rooted love of Italy in general. Second, um, I must say, <laughs> I always, I, I'm very in, like inspired by the Godfather movies. <laughs> and the music behind them. So there's no music of the Godfather in that actual program, but several pieces, they, in, they when I listened to them again, they immediately reminded me of that movie. So it's a little funny, it's very personal. And I think it will come across that evening. So um, the program itself is set up, put together by like five different composers. Um, and the first one was actually Respighi's Fountains of, Fountains of Rome. That was my core uh, piece. And uh, from here, I, the whole thing developed. The Fountains of Rome are a real tone poem, almost like an, an Italian Impressionist tone poem, where he writes the music to four different fountains in the city of Rome. Uh, one is, of course, the famous Trevi Fountain. And uh, each one has a different character from more energetic and active to more subdued. And um, that's the core. And then I wanted to juxtapose it with a choral work. <laughs> it's not done so often, I think. So we are having in the second half that the Speaky Fountains, and we're ending with Verdi's Te Deum. And now the Tedeum is 15 minutes long, choral work, and a real prayer to God. A very dramatic prayer to God, um, where it starts extremely soft and quiet. And then, as in any prayer, a personal prayer, there are passages where one is very humble and quiet. And then moments where you cry out, and it's very personal and, well, a begging almost. And you have that in this Te Deum. So it is not an objective prayer, it is very personal. We are really excited that the Canterbury Voices are singing the Te Deum by Verdi. And it's actually, it will be a big group. It's like 180 um, singers that will bring to life this choral work. So you have those two sides of Italian music making, some descriptive, beautiful idea of the an impressionist of the fountains, and then this rooted, this prayer, deeply rooted in the Italian um, culture. In between, I uh, set this uh, short piece by Ennio Morricone, the most maybe famous composer, film composer ever. <laughs> Um, who is Italian, wrote 400 film scores, and um, the Gabriel solo is one of his most famous, most beautiful ones. And the movie itself is actually about a missionary who is a um, Christian missionary who tries to bring uh, the Christian gospel um, to the world. And uh, <coughs> doing this also by music. So I thought it would be really interesting to have that angle of a Italian of, of Enrio Monicone in the, in, this, in, the, in, the, um, in the concert. The soloist of the Paganini is Benjamin Schmidt. I had worked with him in Germany quite a while ago. Um, and he, he was, a, first of all, a fantastic violinist. Um, absolutely high-end, it was unbelievable. But then the amazing thing about him is that he does both worlds in a way. He is um, versed 
in the classical repertoire, but then does jazz improvisation and does lighter classics. And I really appreciate this nowadays that one just does things of music as music and doesn't think of like different genres, and, you know. And I think this gives this versatility to his playing and uh, openness that is very, very refreshing. So I'm really excited to have him. So my program includes a piece by Missy Mazzoli, Orbiting Spheres. Um, she's an American composer and she's an American, well, obviously female composer. And I strongly believe that uh, we, I have the mission to feature well, female composers. It's something that is done more often nowadays. Um, some, some, some things that should be completely normal. Um, and I believe that it gives a new voice, actually, in general. Um, and also something that hasn't been done for the longest time in music history. There is not a female Beethoven 200 years ago. So I would love to have, uh, or my mission is in a way that one looks back 50 years from now to our time and we suddenly see the female Beethovens, that there is no more male and female, that we really have composers that express themselves that there are no more barriers, no more blocks um, for anybody. And uh, that it becomes really a voice, an artistic voice that can be expressed. Female, male, doesn't matter. It's just humanity expressing themselves, ourselves through music. And this concert, um, November 2nd, features a major work, very exciting war work, by um, Missy Mazzoli. Join us November 2nd, 8 p.m. at the Civic Center for our Italian Gems concert with Benjamin Schmidt as the soloist and Canterbury Voices.